Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I have a design team project for craft supplies for you that I would like to share with you today. And this is something I've kind of been wanting to do. Um, I did, but then at the same time, I didn't want to alter it, but then I finally decided to. So I altered this gumball machine, as you can see here. And this is a real one. This is glass and it's the metal kind. And I had found this, oh my gosh, a while back. Um, I found it at a thrift store and I was so happy because I had been wanting one. And I got it for like five bucks. And it was the real one, the original. It's red, made of metal with the glass. And I've had it for a while. And I've kind of wanted to alter it up but then at the same time I didn't want to because it was like an old one from like 1985 and they're kind of hard to find but I was like you know what just do it so anyways this is what I came up with I actually think it came out really cute so here's the top and then this here is going down and everything that you see I used from the store um, yeah everything except for the paint <laughs> but I used tons of gorgeous goodies as you can see so basically the first thing I did was I painted all the red metal parts pink this is a cameo pink it's the name of the paint and it's from I believe it's folk art paint that you can get at Michaels and so I decided to use that color so because I knew I wanted to do like a shabby theme to it so I basically used a sponge tip brush because I kind of wanted it to have like a texture to it but I actually ended up covering most of it up as you can see but another way you can make texture on your items is to mix a little bit of sand into your paint and it's probably easier and faster that way because it did take me quite a while. But if you can see um, some of the like texture details, that's kind of look, the look that I was going for because I want it to be like nice and shabby. But again, I covered most of it up. So I got the whole thing, the bottom part and then the top piece right here got that painted pink and then I started going through kind of figuring out what goodies I wanted to put on there so actually the first thing I did which I'll turn this sideways is I had these appliques right here it's one big applique there's one on this side and there's one on the other side and these do come in a set of two and as you can see they're really big and really nice size so I kind of wanted that showing so it just kind of comes from the top down to the bottom and it's just the same on the other side it's just reversed and then um, those kind of was my main inspiration was these appliques and then also this applique right here which goes around and that also comes in a two pack as you can see it's really big and it goes around I just kind of had it going like that so those were kind of my inspiration for this whole thing because I knew I wanted to use them on this so I kind of put those on and then just did everything else like based around it so it was a little bit tricky because it is rounded but um, if you just glue you know a little bit at a time you can kind of get it to go flat so you don't get a lot of bumps and stuff so put those down and they're just so pretty I love this uh, area right here I think it's really cute and so once I got those down I was kind of trying to decide what I wanted to do so I ended up taking this trim right here that's from the store and this does come in several colors um, this is lace and it comes with this ribbon part attached to it and then there's also one that has like organza instead of the lace here and several different colors um, but I chose to use the white one so super pretty so I put that all the way around and then um, back here to the front once I got this trim on I decided I was well trying to figure out which of the flowers I wanted to use like in the front here 
So I went through and um, as you can see, I just took some of the different ones. They're all super gorgeous, as you can see. I just kind of layered them in the front here. So there's white ones, there's pink ones, and there's these peachy ones. And these ones right here, they come with these pearl pieces attached to them already. So they're really, really pretty. And then um, here at the bottom, this is the little, you know, the piece that goes up and down where you lift it up and you get your little gumball out of there. I still wanted to make sure this would be usable. Um, so this still opens and then the top still comes off. But I just kind of pick some different flowers to go around it. Kind of the same one sort of at the top. And they're all super shabby and pretty. And I just love them. So I put those all the way around. And then here, this is the back. I'll show you guys. Um, I decided to use these white paper flowers and they go from the side all the way around to the other side. They're just really pretty and these take color very well but there's also other colors available in the shop but if you kind of wanted to have something that you can use um, on different things this would be a good idea because like I said you can just dye these yourself to match the project that you're working on and it would be perfect. So put those all the way around and then here at the bottom I took this trim right here and I put it on with the top part at the bottom and then because I wanted these little pieces sticking up like that. So I did that all the way around and then this other little trim right here if you guys can see I put that one all the way around the bottom and then to fill in the little gap I added these paper flowers so I use the white ones and then the two-tone white and pink ones these as well I love use all the time they come in several different colors and they're like I've said it many times they are like the perfect flower they're just they fit anywhere you want to put them and it just they always add a really nice touch to your project so um, I just did like pink and white and then white pink and white white all the way around and then um, Back to the front here. This is the other side. So this is the other applique. You can see it's just a reverse of the other side. And these are so, so pretty. They come with these pearls and these sequins already attached to them. Really, really pretty. Um, so here, if we come up to the top, I took this trim right here and I layered it once around and then I layered it again. So it's kind of a double layer you can see it's really really pretty and then the top of those I took some of these organza flowers and then I put one of those paper flowers in the center and then I added one of the butterflies here at the top and then there's also a matching one here at the bottom and those do come in several colors as well and um, trying to think if there's anything I haven't explained yet. Um, I guess that's basically it. Um, well, I took, if you can see right here, these little acrylic pieces. This is actually a trim that I just took off um, a couple pieces. So I put two on this side and then I put two on this side just to give it a little extra something. So yeah, you guys, everything that you're seeing on here all these gorgeous products every one of them is from the shop so yeah it's pretty awesome I wanted to make sure that I used nothing but items that were in the shop so I can just kind of show you guys you know you can do all kinds of stuff um, but uh, I think it came out really good. I, I was really nervous about altering this up because like I said, I wanted to keep it original, but at the same time, you know, I just wanted something shabby and pretty because you guys know I love my shabby chic. So this is what I came up with. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think I did a good job or should I have left it red? I'm not really a fan of red though. So, you know, I was like, I don't know. I wanted to keep this in my room and then I altered it up and it matches better now so 
yeah so anyways if you guys like any of the stuff that you're seeing all these really pretty items I will have the link for the shop in the description box and make sure you guys check it out because she's always getting new stuff in and it's like you if you like something a lot of times it's available in several colors because I know she likes to do that because not everybody likes the same things but again you know if you like something and you don't see it in the color you want you could always get it in white like all this stuff and then just dye it to match whatever that you're working on so that works out really well so that is my altered shabby gumball machine and I'll show you guys so let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching bye